What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And thank you to Dean Gray who sent this over to me. He's one of the subscribers on our channel and this is too cool. I tell you what, this isn't that old. I haven't seen it anywhere yet, but what we've got here looks to be ornate either uh, concrete. It looks like a, a, just a bunch of uh, ornate concrete that's just been slapped on top of each other. Or possibly stone that's been uh, shaped in these in the situation, like into the actual um, shape that this is. And if you look here, I'm looking here at this one right here, as well as this one. And it looks like we've got two piles. We got one here, and we got one under it, one here, and possibly this might just be one slab right here. Um, in this picture, we've got a couple other cool things. Just interesting picture altogether. Oops, not trying to make you sick there. I'm uh, using my little Apple touchpad here. Sometimes it gets a little gets a little crazy, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to really take a look at that, see if we can't pull it out with some gamma and stuff like that. And let's go take a look here at where I got it from. This was from Saul. Let's see, this was 508. And let's see, we're already up to, I'll show you where to get it on here. Um, it's this one right here. And you, all you got to do is basically go down and hit description and the link's going to be there. I'm going to have it there. Now I haven't seen anybody else put a video out on this one yet, but you know, there might be 30 videos out on this. Like I said, it's been, you know, out for a good 30 days or so. Um, this whole little area right here does kind of seem like there it's been thrown about. These rocks seem to kind of have rounded cuts into them. Appears a little interesting. So let's go ahead and take a, uh, I brought it basically into Photoshop. It's the exact same, same picture as it was. Let me do what I usually do, this auto color, which uh, makes it look a little bit more like it's on Earth. I think we get a better view of it that way. So let's just leave it like that for a minute. And then what I want to do, and even look it up here, do you like cut out? Um, I really want to take a look at this. And also down here too, because it looks like a little bit, um, looks like another little block right there as well. Now let's go ahead and zoom on in on that. And then give it the image adjustment exposure. And even this block next to it, see that right there? How it's been kind of shaped out like a triangle and it looks like it wedges down in. Let's see what we've got. What happens when we mess with the gamma a little bit? Maybe bring that out. And it's interesting, each one seems to have its own, where the rivet goes in or where the where it's cut. Like if you see here, it's got a perfect uh, rim around it here. It looks like it gets cracked up a little bit back here in the back from the rim. But look at how even over on this side, it's it goes that way, the cuts come that way, that way, that way. If I, I would imagine if we were looking at the top of this, looking down at it, it would almost look like the turtle or something along those lines that's been carved out. And uh, in each of these little slots, there's two little, there's little, little pieces carved into it. This is very ornate. Um, so you've got, you know, one divot here, one line here, and in the middle there's like a little circle that's been cut into it or shaved into it. And look how here in the back side it comes around and you can see how it's been shaved down. Um, right here does look like something happened to it. Um, and it's right next to this thing, like say these uh, triangular type rocks. And we've got another one right here. And it doesn't look like anything else in the landscape. Like you're, this doesn't look like the color of anything else down here. Um, looks like it's been kind of brought here by something or, or moved here by water, um, wind, who knows? Who knows what, what actually the catastrophe was that, that brought Mars to, it knees, you know, to its knees. As I go through there, let me slowly just push through here so you can see it. I'm going to do the same with the gamma, just kind of slowly go through it so you can take a look at it. I'll do it from dark. Now it almost looks like this piece right here is a bowl of some sort. It looks rounded to me. See how perfectly rounded it is? And it comes down and it, the shadow there kind of blocks out what it is from there. Let's see if I pump the, the exposure. Well, when you pump the exposure, you can, you can still you can see that the marks and the ornate, how like ornate it is and, and perfect. Let me do this. Let me bring it in even even bigger for you to see. See those little pieces in it right there? Just too cool. There, let me keep on backing it out a little bit. Back it out just a tad. And here you've got, like I said, more, a couple more little pieces. Look how in this piece, look at this right here. Look how there's, it's almost like it's got a, it's strange. It's like these 
there are these long tubular things that are coming through them, and it looks to be throughout a lot of this stuff. See, look at the top here. That almost looks like a wrench or something that's there, and in the middle, it actually looks like a hole that could have had something spilling down through it. Um, pretty cool, I must say. Thank you, Dean, for sending this one over. Let's keep on taking a look here. There was also, I noticed down here, another block that looked this, this right here that looks to be perfectly 90 degree angle and have a, a cut right here. See, it looks like it's cut at another 90 degree angle here and whatever's on the back side either could be flipped over and there, you know, this was the bottom part of it or that's not, even, you know, maybe that's not even part of it. Um, or maybe it's been fused together just, just in through time, water, and all that good stuff. So let's take a good look down here. I haven't looked through much else of this pick. I was so excited with that top anomaly when I got it. I saw that. Now this looks to be messed with here too. What, look at this right here. See how perfect this rock is? Kind of round. Then up at the top, it just looks like a beaded out. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Looks like six beads in a circular. Um, you know, we got that weird angle down at it. I think that that's just pretty cool. Just randomly sitting there like that. And you don't get those little beads anywhere else. Look at this rock right here. It's got this green on it almost. It's like a half of a uh, bullet. What are those things? A bullseye, not a bullet. <laughs> half of a bullseye. Um, so thank you guys. The condolences are still coming in from my father. I, I just can't believe the subscribers, how awesome you guys are. Thank you guys so much. It's helped me tremendously um, with everything I've been doing. Just trying to get life back to normal, helping take care of my mother and make sure she's okay. It's just been wonderful, the outpouring. Um, look at this here. This is this catches my eye. I went back through this the first time and I saw that. Um, just because it's so rounded off. And over here we've got this thing just kind of sticking out randomly. Like it's whatever's buried there is just stuck. <laughs> oh, lost one of my mouse. Not sure which one that was. I've got so much stuff hooked up to this computer just in case something goes bad in the middle of the video. More of these rocks that just seem to have bevels cut into them. This one's a lot smaller than the other ones I've seen, but just see how... And over here, look at the... Even like right here, see how this comes down around? Comes back perfectly in this circle. It's just like it's almost perfectly made by something. Um, let's keep rolling through it. Yeah, this, this was the other rock I was looking at that was interesting to me. Look how this these seem to be cut out of here. Almost like this was used to quarry something, or possibly another block would, would set into this one. But to me, that looks like almost a 90-degree angle. Maybe not quite a 90-degree angle. Well, this one looks 90-degree rounded angle. And this one looks like it may be just a little bit, little bit off 90 degrees. But that doesn't mean it wasn't bunched together with another piece of rock at some time and, and possibly, uh, you know, was part of a wall, part of something else. Um, anyway, it looks at this one up here. Oh, let me do look at this one too. Just up here is kind of interesting. I was kind of think about what this was, whether this almost looks like uh, something connecting these two rocks or if it is part of the same rock, it, it almost looks like uh, this is really like sunk in, almost kind of like a bowl in the dish part here, but that one I'm going to leave to the imagination. There's definitely something going on right over here with these rocks. Where are you? Bam. Where are you? Where are you? Right there. And this little round basin. Thank you, Dean. What do you guys think? This is this a good find? Ooh, up here there's some more stuff too. This one's a good one to download. This isn't a big picture. Hit the description. You know, let me let me know what you guys think. As I go through it, I could sit here and probably piece through this one a little bit more. But to be honest with you, we looked at the main the main anomaly. Look over here. Check this out. That's pretty cool. See, the more you look at stuff, the more you find. Look at there's a perfect ball at the top of this. Almost like a traffic cone or something coming down. And uh, it's perfect. Look how perfect the, the ball at the top is. And if you've seen anything that ever had a ball at the top, it almost looks like a stick shift. Like a screw on or something. And this right here just comes down in a cone perfectly. So, I also thought this right here kind of looked like a helmet upside down. Just the shape of it. You know, not saying that it is. You know, I see what I see. You see what you see. And hopefully we'll meet in the middle. So, what do you guys think? That looks like some ornate concrete to me. Let me bring it back. See if I can't drop it back to the original color it came with. Here we are. One more, one more, one more. There it is right there. 
Um, you can still see all the ornate carvings in it. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Check me out online. www.whatsupinthesky.com. Peace.